go. Hey guys, welcome to the Warrior Cast. My name is Noel. I'm a storyteller from Quezon City. And this is the Warrior Cast. We have over here my good friend, Suatino. He's uh, the owner of the Ruffles Group. So you might be wondering what the Warrior Cast is. It's basically a podcast for people with passion. You see, there are the best way to learn about living your life, living your passion, is to just go and live your life. The second best way is to talk to the people who've lived their own passion. Talk. <laughs> so we're here with Kiko Aquino. How are you doing, man? Hi. <laughs> I'm Kiko. <laughs> could you, well, could you tell us a bit about the Rumpus Room? Let's let it speak for itself. Alright, that's a quick preview of the rumpus room now. So, all that organized chaos is the rumpus room. It's a place where you can play your video games, play with strangers, play with friends, video games. Have some food, sodas. Every Tuesday, you know, I try to film something and we all watch as a group. Stuff we watch anyway, why not watch as a group? Stuff you do anyway, why not do it as a group? So that's the whole theme. And do it outdoors. So over there, PG as it may, there's a bar which keeps things fun. And you know, sometimes everything is just more fun with beer, alcohol. Why not do it out here? All right. So other than your gaming, <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun interview. Other than your gaming, you also have secondhand games, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Can you tell us more about your secondhand game trade? Secondhand game trade, so what's that about? It's basically for the buyers, it's about getting cheaper games. So I have some over there. For the sellers, yes, the sellers, not just me. The sellers, they consign the games to the shop. I do my best to sell it, and we have an agreed price. Of course, the store gets the cut, and as soon as they, as soon as the game sold, they get their money back. Simple as that. So if they don't have time to sell it, that's what I offer. All right, that's nice. So before Rumpus, what were you doing? Dancing. <laughs> How sultry. Pretty effing. <laughs> And, and before you were dancing, what were you Oh my to? god, what have I done? I did some online marketing. I was a sales clerk in a music store. Uh, building administration, real estate, quality control in a warehouse. That's about it. Wow, pretty diverse. You went through a lot. But I'm young, huh? Yeah, you're young. We're not doubting that. He is young. Um, in line with you being young. Married? No. Ah, uh, girlfriend? No. All right. No. This mustache, this beard, is available. <laughs> Wonderful, man. So, uh, what are your future plans for the Rumpus Room? Future plans for the Rumpus Room. Oh, it's gonna be my baby. So do as much as I can to make it run itself hopefully in the future get some money out of it but as long as it keeps the fun vibe you know there are other ways to make money so I'll, I don't know if I need to do something else I will do something else but I want to get this baby on its feet so the birthing pains are just about over and now it's teaching it how to walk so right now what's going on over here Smash Brothers. You heard of that game? Yes, it's a Nintendo game with Nintendo characters. Mm -hmm. and Mario fighting Zelda, fighting Pikachu, fighting Solid Snake, Solid Snake fighting gosh, Zelda, fighting, fighting Mario, fighting, fighting, Mario, fighting Zelda, fighting, fighting Luigi, fighting Lady Zelda, fighting Hitler. <laughs> Is there? A Hitler? Oh, did I go there? <laughs> no, there's none. Fighting random. Me's and wees, whatever you call those ca invented characters. It's 
fun. It's a really fun game. Some of these guys are experienced. Some of them are not. And those who are not, you know, they're being taught how to play, how to play better. I'm hoping to man up a little bit and sneak a game in. <laughs> so this event runs uh, how often? Well, my buddy Steve over here, he's one of the ones playing. It's really when he tells me there's something happening. Like, okay, the Smash guys wanna, you know, wanna go at it. So when's the best day? And I told him Sunday's a good day. And he, no, he told me to play on Sunday. And I was like, Sunday's a good day because it's really chill here. And it just worked out. Mm, that's good. So other than PS3 and PS4, you have this thing on Thursday. What's it called? Oh yeah. So there's this Facebook thing called Throwback Thursday. And I didn't really know what it was about. And apparently it's about posting old pictures, nostalgia, yada yada yada. So over there, I have some working Super Nintendo, an N64, a GameCube, a PS2, all the old consoles which I put out on Thursdays and price down. Just to kind of, you know, let the new guys know what we were all about back when we were kids. Mm, sounds good, sounds really good. Because I remember Street my Fighter Super two. Nintendo. You, you are crucial final. Hadouken, you can't see me. Play <laughs> God. <laughs> One final question. If I leave here tomorrow, would you still remember me? Because I must be traveling on now and there's too many places I have to see. Oh, dear God! Oh, you weren't going there? I'm not going there, man! Oh, sorry, I read you wrong. Oh, I man. thought it was a line. <laughs> Thanks so not much, bad. Nico, for having this interview with us. Uh, so, how can we hit you up on social networks? How? Oh, here's the thing. I'm really bad at this whole social media thing. So, any form of help, anything, just posting it out there, would be awesome! <laughs> You're, you got your Facebook page up? Yes, ma'am. All right, so we got details over there. You got a Twitter up. What's that? <laughs> no Twitter, just Facebook page, but everyone's on Facebook, so information will be down there. And if you want more of the Warrior cast, just check out the Warrior Poet Art Cafe over details here, Facebook, Twitter, that kind of thing. And thank you guys for watching, and thank you so much, people, for having us. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Bye. I hope you had fun. Take care and stop.